Hello YouTubers, this is Not Dog Gaming, and welcome to Let's Play After School. Now, if you're wondering, whenever you see the graphics on this, like, it looks familiar? This is made by the same people that made Yuri Station, which, if you didn't know, is a, is a really good-looking game. Every evening on her... <clears throat> a girl stops at a window, a boy she loves in secret. What? Get up. Oh, oh. Her heart swelling in longing, the girl pauses to look at the boy, before continuing her walk. Okay. Wait, can I walk on this? Oh, I can! I like the music, to be honest. It's really nice. Oh, there's Yuri Station. There goes that girl. She's going to her father. Watching the train as it slides across the horizon, the girl imagines that perhaps one day the two of them will run away together. <clears throat> oh, that's so cute. Wait, can I read that? Or... No, I can't read it. This music is really nice and it's also really loud. I need to turn it down. <laughs> I wish I could just hold the mouse down so she could run all the way over to the left. So that's her house. And it's not too far away. Alone in her room, the girl wonders if tomorrow the boy will finally notice her. I mean, I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't want him to notice me if I was looking outside his window. He'd probably be like, ah! Today, the girl considers knocking on the boy's window. <laughs> he could give him a heart attack. How would he react? But she cannot bring herself to interrupt him. Perhaps when he's finished with his reading. Uh, can I just make her knock on the door? Or on the window? That would be hilarious. Like, you know, he'd just be... He's just reading a horror story, right? <clears throat> About a killer watching this one guy. <laughs> and then he sees her out there and he's like, Oh, God! When the boy does notice her... They will sit together at the river shore. It won't at all be like earlier when he watched her from the distance. Or when she watched him from the distance. I wonder why she just doesn't talk to him. I mean... Oh, what? What is that? In the middle of the path, the girl finds three incense sticks. A brand is unfamiliar. Oh, oh, it wasn't let me move there for a second. I don't know why I have incense sticks. What's that gonna do? I love incense, though. I use them all the time. Alone in her room, the girl wonders if... Tomorrow, she will find the strength to talk to him. Which should be easy, by the way. You, you can do it. Wednesday. Say something. What if they have, like... Security alarm. The boy is captivated by his book. For a good long while, the girl watches the boy's fingers. What? Brush against the pages before continuing her walk. I was like, what? <laughs> I was thinking, hell no. She's looking at the fingers and thinking, I wonder what finger food tastes like. I am now the serial killer. Earlier today, the boy once again failed to notice her. He only had his eyes on the book in his hands. Well, shit, you should probably say something then. Or get out those incense candles. Oh. What's this? Incense candle box? In the middle of the path, the girl finds three matches. The little demon on the box smiles at her mocking impression. Okay, okay, well, why don't we, uh... Ah, uh, we can't mix them. <laughs> well, I guess that's going to be like a present to him, I guess. They better smell good, though, because they smell bad. Alone in her room, if they smell bad, he's going to be mad. The girl is too sad to dream of tomorrow. Thursday. Damn, you love that book. Today, more than ever, the girl feels a coldness in the window between them. To the window between them. <clears throat> A strange atmosphere permeates the air. The girl continues to walk without lingering. 
No, man. No, like... I don't know, put... Do something. Get his attention somehow. Jesus! Don't you think there's a reason for this matchbox and incense candles? That's a matchbox. What the hell? Matchbox. There goes Yuri Station again. Or the Yuri Station train. Watching the train as it slides across the horizon. The girl imagines that one day the boy might leave. And she will never see him again. Uh, just say something, Jesus Christ! I just go up like this. Hey, hey, you're awesome. Let's go out. What's going on here? The demon on the altar seems to stare at her. Uh, is she making like a deal with the devil or something? One incense candle. Two incense candle. Now there are three. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm not gonna do that the whole time. <laughs> Don't worry. And boom. The girl makes a wish. And walks serenely and I I couldn't read it. Whoa, what? <clears throat> That's freaking awesome. <sighs> What's gonna happen? Oh. <gasps> oh! Oh no, you can't be serious. Is that it? What? Oh no. Why did it just like. What? Like, what happened? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm confused. Like, what was that wish thing like this? You want a boy to notice you, huh? Make a wish. And be like, oh yeah, I want him to notice me. Yeah, well you die. And somehow your picture gets put into his book. Now he notices you because you're in his book. Okay, that was the end of after school. It just randomly closed me out of the actual game. And I was like, why? But I don't know. I don't know. It just closed me out of it. So I don't know what happened there. Like, did she die? Or did he always notice her or what? I guess he always noticed her. I'm going to do it like that. I'm not going to try to think of it like a Doodle Bob story. Like, you know, freaking like a SpongeBob drill when he came to life. That would be that would be horrifying. Oh, that'd be weird. He just draws a random girl in his book and she comes to life wanting him to notice her. But he never does because she's fake and drawn. So, nah, that's not what happened. But, um, yeah, that was after school. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Nacho Dog Gaming. Ray, come subscribe and share on Facebook. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.